Welcome to our surf tutorial video. This video is going to look at how to enter individual purchase invoices correctly to surf. From your dashboard, you can enter purchase invoices in two ways. You can select create new across the top of the screen and select purchase invoice, or you can click on purchases on the left hand side and invoices and credit notes. As you can see, we haven't entered any purchase invoices yet, so no information is showing here on the purchase invoices page. So we're going to click on add invoice. I can see here we're prompted to enter quite a lot of information. So we're going to search for a supplier and we're going to select accountant 123. So our invoice number is four ones. The date is the 1st of January, 2018. And you can see that automatically updates my due date because of the credit terms that were entered when we set up our supplier. If you missed our how to set up a supplier tutorial video, I would advise you to watch this before entering a purchase invoice as it makes entering the invoices a lot simpler. So you can also see that the invoice address is pulled through from when we set up our supplier. So we're going to enter a product and we are going to do a new search and we're going to add accountancy fees. I'm going to put in the code for accountant123. Description is accountancy fees. Our purchase code is going to be, again, accountancy fees. And our purchase fat rate is 23%. And our purchase price is 100. So you can see that information is pulled through and all I need to do now is enter my quantity. And it calculates my net amount, my VAT and my total. The main advantage of entering purchase invoices individually is that you can add an attachment. So if we click on the add attachment link here, we can go to our file, and select the purchase invoice that we want to enter. Now, some clients find that very useful and it's quite good for an accounting point of view. If this is something you don't want to do, you can always keep your purchase invoices on file and you can add your purchase invoices in bulk. And I'll show that to you on the how to enter purchase invoices in bulk video. So now we just have to click save. And you can see now we have our purchase invoice entered under our purchase invoices tab. So you can see it's invoice number 1111. It's come from accountant 123. The gross value of that is 123. It's due on the 2nd of March and it hasn't been paid. Now I will show you how to enter payments for purchase invoices on the how to enter payments tutorial video. But for now, we're going to leave that as unpaid. Now, if you have watched the how to set up suppliers video, you'll know that I showed you the balance and the balance was zero for our suppliers. So I'm going to just return there now. And show you that we have an outstanding balance now for accountant one, two, three. So this is quite good for keeping up to date and having an idea of who you owe money to. Similarly, on the dashboard, If we scroll down, we will see that we have an outstanding creditor of 123, and we know that's our accountant 123 invoice. Thank you, and I hope you found that helpful.